follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Pianist Miri. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to Fashionably Miri. Today I want to do my July favorites. I know I haven't done favorite videos last six months or so, um, but I'm back. Okay, I may actually make June favorites, but I think it's a little too late to do June favorites or upload the June favorites so I decided to just combine it all and do a July favorite. I've been really enjoying this hydrating Moroccan argan oil ever since summer started. Um, it's I got this from a friend of mine um, and I kind of kept it on my chest for the longest time and then when the summer started i was in hurry i wanted to put something moisturizing on my legs and i grabbed this and put it on and just ran and at the end of the day i kind of felt like oh what's on my leg and it's so smooth and it like sort of looks luminous which i love i love my legs luminous and it just it just looks healthy and sexy which I love so yeah I recommend this so much okay another product that I've been loving is this renewing Moroccan argan oil penetrating oil for hair okay the other day I actually put accidentally put way too much product on my hair it still penetrated and my hair didn't look any grease ball I was worried the entire time but it was great I was like oh my gosh this is amazing but I've been using this a lot especially at the end of my hair I don't like to put this around my root because I don't know I'm worried it will make my hair look greasy but I haven't tried but I just put this around the ends of my hair and I don't know, it just gives me, I feel like that makes my hair more healthy that way. Yeah. And also another item that I've been loving is this Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen SPF 60. I don't like putting any sunscreens with my fingers. I know I put sunscreen on my face with my hands, but I don't know, I don't like this feel afterwards. So I like to just spray and go and this gives the luminous looking as well it makes my legs look really sexy and healthy and protected Last year I had dry skin problem but this year I have oily skin problem Okay, so I switched to Cetaphil's um, SPF 30 oil control moisturizer and it's been great I love it so much, it's not too drying I don't know what changed my skin but my skin's kind of normal to oily now and I need something to sort of control my oil throughout the day otherwise I look really shiny which I don't like my summer scent has been this this is Burberry Brit Eau de Perfume um, or Inter Perfume whatever that means I, I've had this for years. I got this from a friend um, and I only started using it a few months back and people say I smell great with this perfume. So I don't know. I didn't like it that much but now I love it. Yeah, I don't know. Every time I wear this people say I smell good. So I'm like, okay. I'm gonna wear that. Last few months, I've been loving um, mascaras. Sometimes I wear all three of them. Sometimes I use the single one, depending on the look that I'm going for. Um, this one is from Majolica Majorca. It's a lash expander. Uh, what this does is that it's got these false eyelashes in the mascara, so it lengthens my eyelashes drastically. Yes, drastically, I said. I said it. Okay, and uh, this one's L'Oreal's Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. I, this is my third tube. I love this item. 
so much. I, I got this one first and then I got the waterproof one. I decided to go back to just normal mascara. I love this. It sort of holds my curl up the whole entire day and also it sort of spreads and it doesn't clump my eyelashes which I love but I also love clumpy spidery eyelashes that's when I use this Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara I got this in waterproof formula and I love it really it's really dark when I put this on I could tell my eyelashes are there um, but it can be very spidery so if you don't like that kind of look you probably won't like this but I personally love spidery eyelashes because obviously I don't have a lot of hair over there so I need all the help that I can get okay two items I have been loving for using my false eyelashes first this is dual brush on adhesive with vitamins oh my gosh this is amazing okay again I'm very heavy-handed sometimes I squeeze too much um, glue on my eyelashes and it completely mess up my eyelashes yeah that happened to me a lot of times but I can't completely control how much glue I use and it's a brush on so it's easier to put onto my false eyelashes and another item that I've been loving is this um, I don't know what it's called it's made in Japan Seki Edge it's sort of like um, tweezer sort of but it's actually for the false eyelashes um, I have been like looking for a device that helps me uh, putting my eyelashes easier and this is it because this completely makes it so easy I just grab my false eyelashes with this and then I just put this on and I squeeze with my real eyelashes and voila I'm done it's so easy this item I think I got this from eBay thank you so much for tuning in to Fashionably Miri and be sure to follow me on Twitter for chatting, um, Instagram for daily pictures, and Facebook for all uh, the other updates. Okay, so thank you so much, and I'll see you very soon in my next videos.